Hey guys, and welcome to a new tutorial, the last one in our series of reorienting animations from Mixama. This time we will cover Blender. I'll show you a way on how you can reorient an animation in Blender and export it with again a few cool twists and turns here and there. Before we can start, I want to refer to our previous tutorials on reorienting animations in 3ds Max and Maya. I recommend to watch them even if you don't have the software to get behind the theory and the importance of orientation and also the root bone in general. Here again we rely on the root bone in Blender. So if you want to know why those things are important, where to get those sweet mocap animations, just watch the previous two tutorials. Let's start with opening up Blender and importing our animation. Follow me here, click on File, Import and navigate to the FBX option. Now navigate to your favorite animation. Before clicking on Import, click on the FBX file. And then go down a bit here at the Armature selection, click on Automatic Bone Orientation. So our bones will look properly and not like in this picture. This is from my first test runs with this tutorial. Funny enough, this still works. So if your rig looks like this, don't worry, all is fine. Also deselect Force Connect Children. Now we have our character right here somewhere. Here in the scene collection, we can see what we have in our scene. Our armature is our character. By double clicking on it, we can rename it to Tutorial Bot or something that fits you. If you open it up, you will find a bit more information than in Maya or 3ds Max. We have our animation here, the meshes, the pose and the rig. But our character is still inside the box. Let's delete everything we don't need to avoid confusion. Delete the box, the camera and the light. If you want to zoom in, use the middle mouse button and scroll in and out. And if you want to move, click shift and move around while holding the middle mouse button. By not pressing shift while doing it, you can rotate your character around. We need to switch to our animation tab since we again dive deep into the world of root bones. On the left, you have a preview window of the animation and down here is our timeline, which we will use later on. You can scroll here to see our animation. By doing that, we can also see that our animation contains 32 frames. Let's reduce the range to it. Right here, change the end value to 32. Okay. Let's click on a collection or a now called tutorial bot. And down here in the settings, we can reorient the model itself. Not to confuse with the animation. We just orient the model so it will face the correct direction in the engine by default. Now we need to add a bone. Great! It's a bit bigger than we need it to be. Right here you will find this little arrow. Let's click on it. A transform menu will pop up, which is quite important for us. We can scale, change the direction and rotate the object we are referring to. Each mode offers you a different transform option, which is important to remember. Let's reduce the length for now. Let's say something around 40. Great, but I would like to see the other bones in this character as well. To do that, we are going to navigate to the object data properties. Then we need some option for your viewport display. We'll activate in front which let us see the bones on your character. Now we need to parent our bone with the hip bone of our rig. Click on the hip bone first and then click on the root bone while holding control. Then to parent those bones, we need to press control on your keyboard and then the letter P for parenting. A pop-up will show up. Here, just keep the offset. In the collection, we can see we successfully parented our bone, which we will now rename to root, with the Mixamoric. We need to reorient the animation now. 
for that we need to switch to the pose mode up here then we need to click on our root bone and open the transformation menu here we need to change the rotation the coordinate system might be wrong so we need to change it to x y z eulo then we have our values that we need change the rotation to our magical number from the maya tutorial 90, 0, and 180. Great. Important to mention is that the root bone here is the driving bone, so the rotation of the Mixamo rig should not be changed in any case. This looks a bit weird, but it's fine, don't worry. This is it. You could import this in CryEngine by now and it will have the correct orientation. But as previously mentioned in the Maya tutorial, the movement of the root bone is still on position 0, 0, 0. So no movement at all of the root bone. The animation will reset itself to the position as soon as it's over. Which is fine, but maybe you don't want to have that and you need animation to be played in place. So let's do just that. Don't worry, there's a twist coming at you. Let's stay in pose mode and let us select the root bone and the hip bone again while holding control. Go to pose, animation and bake animation. In this window deselect only selected bones and click OK. This should do it. We gave an action to our root bone. Now select everything you have in the viewport. Right in the dope sheet, you can see the summary of our keys we have in the animation. Open up the Mixamo rig and simply deselect the Z location. If you play your animation now, the motion will be played in a place. The last thing we need to do is bake the animation again. Cool. Let's go and export our model. File, Export, and FBX. The only thing that is important to us is the Bake Animation button. Just make sure it's turned on. Look for the location you want your FBX to be in and simply export. If we switch back to the engine again, drop those animations we exported in the asset browser, we will see multiple animations. One is the one with the motion in place, and the other one is moving forwards. Blender exports both animations for us. We can use them now to our liking. If you wonder why we have three animations and one FPX, you remember when we baked our animation. Each time we bake an animation, a new action sequence is created in Blender. That again creates a new animation in CryEngine, which is awesome. Now you have multiple animations in one file and you can use them depending on your technique. Thank you for watching this series guys. I really hope I could help you with that and you have a better understanding of animations and rigging in general. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. If you have additional questions you can always use our official social media channels Twitter and Discord and more. Just click on the info box underneath this video. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.